that's a surprise. Mm. Yes. A good surprise? Yes, very. I wasn't sure about it, whether I like it, but um, it's like bathing in a warm sea. Okay, so what's your action on all that? To get him to what? To um, share in share in my discovery. Well, how about continue? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. Okay. All right. I don't want to start this like 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I do. No. Oh. Okay. Sorry, Clayton. You feeling like a piece of meat? <laughs> Yes, right there. That's exactly what need, the scene needs, that, that moment you just had. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Oh, that's a surprise. Nice. A good surprise? Yes, very. I wasn't sure about it, okay. whether I'd like it, but um, it's like bathing in a warm sea. <laughs> I have dropped off for a minute there, actually. Sorry. It's no problem, but uh, also no. No, no orgasm. No. I wonder what noise I'd make. Apparently, sneezing is a very good sign how loud a person is when they orgasm. Really? Yeah. Um, my mother sneezes very loudly. Some people sneeze like cats, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I can never rid myself of the notion that um, I must orgasm like cats too. You know what I mean? If cats orgasm, I don't know, do they? No, nobody really knows. <laughs> so how'd you fake it with your husband? What noise did you make? <laughs> oh God! Um, <laughs> all right. Um, give me a second. Um, let me think. Let me think about it. Very convincing. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, um, that's number two. Ticked off the bucket list. Nice. Or, uh, licked off the bucket list. <laughs> right. Um, anyway, I'm very happy it is. And, um, you're very good at this whole business. You know that, right? I, I hope you know that. Well, People should tell you. <laughs> thank you. It's, it's nice to hear. It's sort of a mysterious gift you have. No, it's not so mysterious. You know, I just make the effort. And I like you, so it's, it's, it's easy. See, that's you know just the right thing to say, and we like the move and all that. Oh, uh, you know, you learn to read people. Mm. Not sure I ever have. You kind of have to want to first. Yeah. I probably don't want to enough to put in the effort. I just pay attention. What about you? Who pays attention to you? Is there um, someone? Someone? Yeah, you know, a um, special person, a particular person person? You mean someone other than you? <laughs> Stop it. I mean, um, a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever fluid arrangements you have these days. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy. It's all about this moment in this room right now. Just forget everything else. It's all about you. That's the whole point. But, but who are you in there? I mean, who are you out there? That's what I want to know. I, I thought you were happy with everything you've been doing. Oh, believe me, I am. I mean, oh my goodness. Um, my, 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 my body is no longer this carcass I've been heaving around for 30 years. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a wonder. It's a, um, the ground of delight, did she say? Did I say that? Mm, maybe not. <laughs> but, um, what about you? That's what I want to know. I'm 
whatever you want me to be here in this moment. What about when I'm not here? Um, who are you without me? It's not so wrong for me to want to know that, is it? Nancy, I hope I've given you everything I said I would give you. You said we should get to know each other. Nancy. So you're not going to tell me? Hey, have you ever tried sex toys? You know, a lot of people find it a lot easier to, to you know, reach an orgasm, but I actually brought some. Okay, you know me. what? I, fine. So I have something to tell you. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, well, uh, yes. Okay. Go on then. So, um, you know, you won't tell me anything. I'm not alone. Well, Once curiosity gets the better of one, does it now? Yes, it does. Um, I know who you are. I know your real name. <coughs> Sorry? I found out your real name. Uh, <coughs> what do you mean? Is this my real name? I don't know what you're talking about. No. I mean, I found out who you are. Okay. Line. I was going to tell you earlier, but I, I was going to tell you earlier, but um, but well, I thought maybe it was best to, to uh, fuck first. It was just a minor bit of sleuthing on my part. My credit card shows a company name on the statement, so I went to the company's house website, and that shows the directors, and that's how I found out your name. What, what are you doing? Look, I, I will tell you my name. I don't mind. Uh, no, thank you. I'm not interested. No, what? No, come on. What? Is it really that bad? Yeah, I had boundaries. Uh, I asked you to respect them and you didn't, so I'm going to be leaving now. Don't attempt to book me again, please. Hey, no! I don't mind if you know who I am. I, is it really such a problem? I mean, it's not like we're strangers. Nope. All right, forget it, forget it. We'll, we'll forget no. it. Just forget it. No. I, look, well, I'll still call you Leo. No, you're not going to be calling me anything because I won't be here. Okay, Connor. Hey, don't you call me that. Don't you call... My name is Leo Grand. You booked Leo Grand, and you got Leo Grand. And from what I can tell by all the moans and the sighs, you have no complaints with Leo Grand. Am I right? Yes. Good. So we're clear on that. Okay, Susan, I think all this has to panic you a little bit more. You really don't want to lose him. Good. So we're, we're clear on that. So, you want to go back in line? Or sorry? Uh, yeah, just a line, Khalil. Uh, yes. Yes. I don't know what yes is. What is uh, Yes, good, so we're clear on that. Okay, good. Good, so we're clear on that. This is Leo Grant. I made him, and I'm proud of him. And by the way, Nancy Stokes, I could, I could find out who you really are myself, you know. Yeah. How do you think, uh, how do you think your former students would, would feel about finding out their ex-RE teacher's been hiring young men to lick their pussy in a hotel room? Oh. Oh, oh, what? Is that just a little too real for you? Is that it? Because that's what we've been doing. So don't get squeamish now. I was not expecting this reaction from you. <laughs> what? Well, I thought you'd be pleased. Pleased? Okay, okay. Susan, go back. What's your, your action on that? I thought you'd be pleased to get him to... To stay, to say he is. Okay, well then let's see that energy in it, okay? Don't was... give up. Get him to admit he's pleased. I was not expecting this reaction from you. What? I thought you'd be pleased. Pleased? Yes. Mine. I thought we built up trust. Oh, I thought we built up a trust. A real trust. Okay, I'll let's go back to Susan. I really, and, and keep the panic there. Don't give up and don't just assume that he's going to, you're going to, you know, I, I really want to see the obstacle being that you really believe you're losing him. You don't want to lose him. He's probably the best thing that's happened to you in the last 30 years. So really, talk him into staying. Keep him, keep him here. I thought you'd be pleased. Pleased? 
I thought we built up a trust. Okay, okay, let's go back. What's not working is that yeah, that you're acting like you're happy here. Not you're not. You're in distress. Okay, so even though you say I thought you would be pleased, you know, get him to agree with you. All right, I, I'm interested in you. I wanted to know more about you. Why isn't that a good thing? You have a preconceived idea. We need to get rid of it. Okay. Go back, feelings. Um, I honestly didn't think you'd react on this. Thank you, Khalil. I actually had that one. <laughs> How do you think people would react to finding out their ex-RE teacher has been hiring young men to lick their pussy in a hotel room? Oh, oh what? That's a little too real for you? Because that's what we've been doing. So don't get squeamish now. I honestly didn't think you'd react like this. What? I thought you'd be pleased. Pleased? Yes, I thought we built up a trust. Real trust. I mean, it's like something we could maybe continue this outside of here. All right, no, I thought we could maybe have coffee or a drink or something. Why can't we? Why can't we be friends? Good. Is it because I'm old? Oh, because old women aren't allowed to experience anything real. No, <laughs> you're supposed to be silent and cosseted until you want money, and then you'll show up and do anything. Look, Nancy, I know that's how you feel with your kids, but I have never thought of you or treated you like an old woman. This line, but line. I thought you were proud of your yeah, work. Yeah, I thought you were proud of your work. Why are you ashamed? I'm, I'm, pr I'm, I'm proud. I'm not ashamed. Yeah, then why are you lying about who you are? Why are you hiding your work from people closest to you? I'm not. You know what? You're deluded. You are crazy and deluded. Line? Well, why can't your mother know? Yeah, but why can't your mother know if you're so proud of what you do? Why are you ashamed? <laughs> Not ashamed. You know what? You know what? You know what? There, there, there's a word for this. It's called cyber stalking, and fucking nut jobs do it. You know, cr crazy, deluded, desperate nut jobs like you. I don't understand why you have to lie to me about who you are. But fine, fine. Tell me more about your work on the oil rig. I'm not lying, Nancy. This is my professional name. That I provide a service, a fantasy. I told you that very clearly. All that stuff about this being a vocation, is that lie? No. Then why do you have to lie and hide who you are? Why can't your mother know who you are? Why are we talking about my mother? You know, do you want me to talk to her? I can oh, make her understand. No. no, no, I was always really good with appearance. I can talk to her, I can make her understand. No, thank you. I, I don't need you to do that. No. Yeah, I think it would no, be good no, for you. No, no, no. Uh, let me do it. I no. think it would be good no, for you. No, no, no one's talking to my mother because as far as she's concerned, I'm dead. Sorry, what? 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 Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. That that that's it. There. You feel sexy now? You feel like that's what you're paying for? I didn't think so. Wait. You know, hey, you know, you know what? You know, you, you know, you, you, know, you talk about your kids. You know, like your son. I'm sorry he's so immensely boring to you. And I'm sorry your daughter lives a this so much more exciting life than you. You talked about your kids were like a dead weight around your neck. So let's not pretend you're exactly mother of the year here now. What did you do to your mother? Why does she want to think you're dead? Fuck off, Nancy. I just forgot my phone. You want to know if my mother would be proud of me? She disowned me. She left me a fin for myself. How old were you? I was 15. What, why did she do, why would she do that? Why would she want to disown you? Why? Why? 
I, I, I just disappointed the fuck out of her. That's what I did. Hello? Oh, yes, no, no, no. Um, oh, yeah, it was my, my friend. He, he fell and hurt his knee, actually. Yeah, no, yeah, yes, absolutely. Yes, oh, yeah, we'll, yes, we'll keep it down. Um, no, 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 yeah, thanks. S sorry, thanks, bye. You know, <clears throat> my mother was like you. She, um, she did everything right. She had food on the table, and clean clothes in the drawers. But I don't think she ever actually saw me, ever. And if she did, she didn't like it. I guess I just, um, I wasn't what she wanted or expected for herself. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, you can quit judging me now. My life, my work, you don't care. You don't care about the truth of my life. You just wanted something exotic. A broken little whore. Well. You found him. Well done, you. I'm gonna be going now, Nancy. You can have a refund on the time. Yay, Ooh. good job.